And on my next hot sauce here, if you don't know, I'm doing a little mini series. I'm doing all these maritime madnesses kind of back to back. I'm starting with the least hot one, the pogey, and going all the way up to their million extract. So the next one on the list here is the Blazin Newfie. And they rate this a five on their heat scale. You can see over there. And this says it's a smoky pepper sauce. So in the back, let's see what they have to say about this. It says, holy frig, bees. Uh, time to defrost the bologna steaks because it's barbecue time. This smoky tasting sauce goes on anything. It's uh, top shelf best kind. All right, let's see what the ingredients are. Ingredients are water, vinegar, hot peppers, glucose, tomatoes, spices, xanthan gum, and natural smoke flavor. Okay, so they say hot peppers. They don't specify in this one exactly what kind of pepper. Thus far, the, uh, the heat was coming from cayenne. Okay, so now we're getting into the mysterious zone because it doesn't actually say what kind of peppers, which is interesting. I guess that maybe it's a trade secret. Maybe they don't want you to know. But what I, the only thing I don't like about it is that the heat level, even though you get their scale, I don't know exactly what's in here. It might be habaneros. might be more cayenne. I have no idea. So it's a mystery. So let's give it a little shake. And you can see, um, compared to the other ones so far, the sauces have been kind of a red color. This one is definitely a darker, straight barbecue sauce looking uh, type sauce. You know, kind of a dark, a deep, deep red slash brown. It's also very loose. It's very pourable, which I really like. So let's pop open. Pop it open here and give it a smell. Okay. So here we have that very common chipotle smell. Just that good smoked peppers. Um, chipotle has been a real hit and miss with me with hot sauce because a lot of different smoky hot sauces I have absolutely hated. Just disgusting, too strong, too smoky. Didn't like them whatsoever. So we're going to see what this is. It could be a total hit or a total miss. Heat is still a five on here, so it should pack uh, a pretty nice punch. But anyway, all right, here we go. Nice, smooth sauce. So far, they've all been really smooth. Not too many chunks of anything. But anyway, here we go. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Wow. All right, first thing it reminds me of. Ooh, here's that heat. I like this sauce. I really like this sauce. First thing it reminded me of is the um, the Chipotle sauce from Taco Bell that I tried. It is that kind of Chipotle. It's not specifically, it doesn't say Chipotle on it, but it has that very distinct smoky pepper um, taste to it. And I'm drooling already from the heat. So I'm going to try not to drool on myself. But very, very good. Uh, really like this one. The smokiness is it's under control. It's not like they poured a bunch of liquid smoke in here. It has that, that very, very slight smokiness to it. Very much like a barbecue sauce, um, but it's in its own way. I really, really like this one, guys. Um, and you know what? I'm going to say this is uh, recommended for hot wings. If you like it hot, like pretty hot, but not like torturous, but still like a nice punch of heat, you would love some hot wings smothered in this stuff. It was, it's really good. I am still, I'm, I'm actually drooling quite a bit. I'm trying to swallow it so I don't dribble on myself. But uh, yeah, the heat, um, I'm actually going to say that this should probably be like a six instead of a five because I still think it's a little bit hotter. Then this uh, Shuck and Delicious, which they also rated a 5. So I'm doing this kind of in order, but this one definitely has just a little bit more heat than this one. So yeah. Uh, what I also really like about it is that it dissipates. You have all that heat in your mouth, and even though I still have a tingle, it's still burning a little bit. Um, it's not that constant hot, hot, hot. I can definitely, uh, I can take it. It's it's tolerable. I mean, for me anyway, I do like it, you know, pretty hot. But um it's, it doesn't hang with you super, super long. It starts to plateau and then and dissipate a little bit after that. So, uh, Blaze and Newfie. Really like this one. This I really do think this would go great on anything you throw in the barbecue. Chicken, beef, pork, you know, whatever. It'd be awesome. So, that's it. Blaze and Newfie. Uh, link is in the description box if you want to go check it out. 
and uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more here. This is only my fourth sauce in this little series. The next one is even hotter. The next one's a six. So we'll see what that uh, where that takes me and what I can actually tolerate in this series. I don't know like what my stopping point's going to be. I mean, I'm going to try them all, but what I actually enjoy and what is just ridiculous heat. So stick with me. Got some more videos coming your way. And once again, thanks for watching. Take care.